Good day, everyone. Um, all right. Um, today we'll talk about 50% replacement on using the Fibonacci. You know, uh, this, uh, is, this is actually a continuation pattern, though it's not part of patterns, but I have to put it into a, uh, a chart pattern. You know, 50% replacement is more like a market case to that, uh, uh, yes, the 50% of actual movement before it continues, right? So I have to put this 50% replacement movement uh, on an actual uh, pattern, maybe. A continuation pattern and this is not a neutral pattern uh, it is not it's not also a reversal pattern right it's just a continuation pattern so talking about this 50 percent retracement uh on using a fibonacci is a continuation move right so the market will go to move in one direction then move in opposite direction ha about half of the distance of the first move right so when the market maybe it's coming from downward or upward if that's a sharp move or drastic move the market tends to pull back we call it pull back or retrace. So you actually pull back or retrace at least 50% of that move then before it continues towards the same direction it was coming from, either bullish direction or either bearish direction, right? Or to use original direction. So when you want to target, when you want to target about the bearish pullback move, so you have to search for a swing below where you can use your face, uh, Fibonacci to, to measure that and see the 50% retrace uh, pullback, then the market will continue to do its original direction the same thing applicable to you are looking for a bullish move. You have to look for a swing high where you can use your Fibonacci to measure the swing high and the swing low. Then you see the 50% replacement pullback before the market continues towards its original direction. So I will still show you guys this on an actual chart. Now take a look at this bearish 50% replacement move, right? The market came down, you know, this is a first move, right? Then we have a pullback covering the 50% Tracement that is 50% of this original move. So let's say the, this original move is 100 pips down. The market will tend to grow what cover at least 50 of the one pips, 50%, 50 pips, 50 pips, then continue to its original direction. Hitting a support zone, moving, moving backward or retracing to form a resistance, right? And this resistance is being formed on the 50% threshold of that move or 50% window, window in a Fibonacci. Uh, in a Fibonacci tool, right? I'm gonna show you that. So this is a bullish move, this is a bearish one. The bullish one market comes in from downward upward, hitting a resistance area, drop down to form a support, thereby covering the 50% of the original move, original upward move, then it will now continue to work to its upward direction. So I'm still gonna show you this on Antra so you know how to use it. Now let's talk about the uh, target, the original target, or how you can do the traditional target of take profit. I'm speaking of stop loss with this move, right? Now, let's take a look at this. Now, a 50% retracement of this Fibonacci shows so that the support in a short trade or resistance in a long trade are what are more preferred targets. Now, let's take a look. Market came down from here, hit a support zone, pulled back and formed what is uh, formed a resistance zone. Now, covering a 50% threshold of this, of this uh, long move. Now, how do you target and how do you enter this trade? If you form forms maybe a resistance area, maybe thereby forming maybe a resistance uh, uh, or an engulfing candle, a chart, a candle pattern. If you want to talk about that candle pattern, kindly check my uh, playlist in this video in my channel. You will see and understand. Uh, you see a playlist of candle patterns. You understand different kind of candle patterns and you can see them on a support resistance zone. So go and watch that video. So let me continue what I'm saying. Now, when that pullback comes here, it covers the 50% of original move. And when that 50% of original move com com comes in, your target should be the, the previous support zone being formed. The market will have, the market definitely break it out and continue because this is a 50% retracement using a Fibonacci and the continuation pattern, right? So the market will pull back, cover the 50%, then continue towards the actual movement. So your target should be the previous high, set your sell limit or sell or sell from this area your target should be on this zone even if it passes this zone it is preferred that you are covered and you know what you are doing and you cannot take that such risk of you know having that long move it's not applicable to bullish right pull back now the market is coming from upward hit the resistance zone comes down what happens your target should be on this green pattern on this what resistance zone when you hit the support zone right when it covers that 50 percent threshold the market tends to do what continue that up move and hit what a, a resistance zone. So you enter this zone, and your take profit should be on this zone, right? So let's take a look. 
at least on our chart. Now, I'll still show you on a normal real life chart so you understand how to use it. So, this is a high, this is a low. What happens? You have to take your Fibonacci, which is here. I'll still show you guys. I'm trying to, trying to explain this thing to you for, your, for more understanding, but I'll still show you guys how to use this too. Now, take, take on these two Fibonacci, measure from this, take from this high here and, and measure from this low here. Then, we'll take a, when we take a look at this Fibonacci tools, you see that markets pulled back to 50%. Of this Fibonacci tool, then it continued what its movement downward. So it's more like what a continuation pattern. This is a bearish continuation pattern of using 50% retracement tool. Now let's take, let's take a look at bullish form. Now we we'll have this bullish retracement, 50% uh, retracement tool. Now you have a drastic move from here, high and the low. So this is the last high. You can take a look at this high here too. So even if you take this Fibonacci to this one, this one touches what 50%. Now, taking it to this main high, main resistance area you see here from the support resistance area, measuring this high and this low, you see the markets drop down towards 50%. And take a look, this starts 8, 61, and 50 are like a window. So, markets will tend to enter this window or enter this window before continuation. So, market drop down to this window and we have a fundamental. This is a fundamental, this is a new street. So, I don't advise, advise anybody to trade this news, right? So, markets enter 50% threshold and pull back and continue its movement, which is more like a heavy dip. So if you're entering this trade from this here, your target should be towards to this zone. If you're entering by, your stake profit should be here, and stop loss should be on the last swing, low or 2 to 1 ratio. Is that applicable to bearish? If you're entering this trade at this 50% threshold, your stop loss should be here and your stake profit should be on this zone, which is on this line. The right. So let's take a look at this on an actual chart and see what it's all about. All right. Now here is an actual chart of um, of GBP USD pounds US dollar. Now, if you want to take a look at this or a constant pattern, let me take a look. Let me do the smaller pattern part. Now, if you take a look at this, is this a low? This is a high. Now we are looking for a bullish move, right? Continuation pattern, right? Now, if you take a look at this spot. And this spot here take, take a look at this high and also take a look at this high here too now you see the market moved up right came back to this 50 percent of this here and it enters the, through the window this is that eight or 61 this is the window now if i'm taking the trade from here i'll have to place maybe uh, i'll have to place a buy because this is an actual move and you take this move with your cross here measure it from here to here this is almost 132 pips now, if you measure the 50% threshold from this zone where the market tends to 50%, it gives you 67 plus 67 will give you how many, right? So 67 pips, uh, 137 divided by 2 will give you how many pips from this zone. So it's half of it it took, which is the 50% retracement threshold of this of this uh, move on pounds here. Like what happened? The market went back up from here to here and covered almost what 60 pips. So if you enter this trade, you are 50 pips, 60 pips in profit. As a traditional way of taking profit of tracement, then what happened? Market was drastically moved. Then, if you want to take a large move, right? A large move, let's take a look at this. So, you can see that market truly respects 50% threshold. Now, let's take a look, take a look, take our Fibonacci, which is here. Then, let's take from this high. This is the lower I can see here on the one hour time frame. And this was the first high being formed. This was the first high being formed. Now, if I take my mouse to this high now, see? And to this low here. Now, when you find a 50% percent watch, 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 watch it. The market drastically move. No, we have another high here though. But I want to show you the large move. You want to, if you miss a trend, that you want to capture the trend on the 50% percent threshold. This is a very long move. And if you measure this move from here to here, see from here to this zone, we we'll have uh, not less than 412 pips, I guess. Yes, 412, 412 pips or so. Now. The market went up to that area, came down. This spike, this fundamental that came in, almost got to 50% pressure, but it entered the window of that 8. Because this that 8, 50, and 61, I call it a window formation, right? A window formation. Now, markets came down to 50% here, and what happens? It retraced back up to the what? Previous high. So it forms a resistance zone, right? So market came down to 50% what and replaced back to previous side, which is more like more like a 205, right? 
Now, if you measure from here, measure from this previous size I did before to this low here, you see that it's almost 50% movement from this zone to this zone. The market will trace back. Touch that 50% of uh, Fibonacci and it what pull back to the zone. If you want to catch this move, then you see that the market has already made a very drastic move to trace back 50% and what continue towards that towards that uh, bullish direction. So if you enter a trade and see this candle here, which is called engulfing candle, right? You call it engulf. This is the bullish one engulf the red last bullish candle. The bullish one engulf the last bullish candle. So, so though, if you pick the trade from here to this zone, you're always almost, almost making 179 pips or 80 pips in profit. If you understand how to do 50 respect 50 percent replacement of using Fibonacci, right? So this is just a typical example of the 50 percent replacement. So let's take a look at Euro USD here and see what it shows us, right? So let's I'll just do one example and you can do the bearish zone and show us, right? Now take a look at this here. People Fibonacci from this zone up to this zone. What happens? Market what will trace 50 percent here. This is 50 percent and do what continue the upward trend. So if you enter this trade here, your take profit should be on this zone here, right? This is the low and this is the high, and market tends to do what touch this zone, right? That is that about 50 percent retracement on an actual chart. So um thank you guys. You can also practice this on your actual chart. Thank you guys and God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to share this video and share this video for people that wants to learn about forex. Bye for now.